Good afternoon. This is the Life Spirit Presents presentation of Robert Blumetti, the uh, Vril Master of the Church of Vrilology and author of The Science of Vrilology and Boulder Rising. Uh, Bob's website is vrilology.org. And without further ado, let me introduce my good friend, Bob Blumetti. I have been a practitioner of Odinism, or acid flu, as it is more commonly referred to, uh, for over 25 years. I have written several books, the Book of Boulder Rising and Virology, and I have a new one coming out called Vril, The Secret to a, a, a Happy and Successful Life. The last three years we've been meeting regularly. I have a small group of people that's been growing, and I've been teaching them the secret of harnessing the power of Vril. Vril is the life force of the gods. It's a universal life force. And I've been teaching them through both Golda and Seder science how to harness Vril and use it to make things happen, to transform the world around you, and to transform yourselves, to improve your life, to draw into your life all those things that you desire so you will lead a happy and successful life. This is our first seminar. It's a really a trial seminar. It's a mini seminar. And I want to thank Ralph for hosting it. And we hope to have regular seminars every two months for full day seminars, maybe uh, six to seven hours. And in these seminars, I will give you an introduction of a little of what we're going to be teaching, what we normally teach. And we're going to specifically concentrate on how you can harness Brill, transform it into your personal luck or your supply of personal luck to make things happen in your life. And in the lecture, I will give some demonstrations or uh, explanations of how we have used it in our group. Some of our people may also explain how we've used it to make things happen. And I will give you a brief explanation of what, how I used it. I work in the courthouse in the Bronx. And one day, I had to leave early. I put in for the day. And there's alternate side parking. And I didn't realize the alternate side parking on the street where I parked was between 11.30 to 1 o'clock. So when I got out there at 12 o'clock, there were cars double parked blocking my car in. And I couldn't get my car out. And I couldn't find who had double parked the car because they left the car there. So I was getting upset. A couple of local guys came and they said, listen, you have to get on the sidewalk and drive on the sidewalk. People do it all the time. But unfortunately, there was a pole on the other side of the car. So I get in the car, and I'm trying to maneuver the car onto the sidewalk, and I couldn't do it. So the other two guys said, let us try. They were trying, and they couldn't do it. We were getting more and more frustrated. And then I began, and I was getting angry, but then I began to remember, life attracts life. What you obsess about, you draw into your life. You are taking the currents of real energy, and your thoughts and your feelings and your actions are shaping you into more of what you're obsessing on. So I immediately let all the anger go, and I started joking around with the two guys. Within five minutes, some guy was walking down the street. Well, what's going on? And we explained the situation. He looked at us, and he said, you know, I think I can get you out. So I said, go ahead, try. And I don't know how he did it. He had to be a Houdini, but he got that car onto the sidewalk for me. And I thanked him, and I said, you know, you're really lucky you came, came by. He goes, you know, I was heading to the subway. I always go down the Grand Concourse. I never come down this block. You're lucky. I said, what made you come down the block? He said, I don't know. A little voice just told me to go this way today. By my change in my thoughts, by letting the anger go, my mind took the real energy, energy and created a pathway and brought the very person I needed to get me out of that situation to me at that time. And this is what we teach. This is part of what we teach. Other things that we will teach in future seminars is bring success in your life, your relationships, even your sex life to make it more fulfilling, but also a loving, caring relationship, and all sorts of things that you can do with this. And the secret is in the runes. They are tools given to us by the gods to help shape real energy and to use it to bring into your life what you most want. And of course, keep out what you don't want. All right, with that, we're going to start our seminar. What is Vril? Vril is the life force that fills the universe. Science has been aware for some time now that matter and energy make up only about 5% of the universe. 
The other 95% of the universe is filled with some form of energy that science refers to as dark energy. This mysterious substance is an infinite power source that we call Vril. It is known by many other names in other traditions such as Chi, or Aurelic Energy, Karma, uh, Ur, Black Sun, excuse me, and many other names. The truth is, this force is a universal force that can be harnessed on a personal level through meditation, visualization, and chanting. It can also be harnessed mechanically as free energy. It is this force that we share with the gods, and the gods use it to hold the universe together, giving it order in their struggle with the chaotic forces represented by the giants. This order can be described as the physical laws of the universe. The word Vril was made popular by the Rosicrucians in the 19th century. An English author and Rosicrucian by the name of George Linton Bolvar uh, popularized the name in his book, The Power of the Coming Race. He referred to them as the Vril Yar, who still spoke the original Aryan language and used the power of the spoken language to harness Vril energy to transform themselves into a race of godmen and create advanced civilization built up of an infinite source of free energy that they refer to as Vril. Vril is a power source that fills the universe. Its energy currents are constantly flowing into all living things, giving them life. These currents of energy ensure the health and well-being of all living entities. The mind is a device that can control and direct these currents of real energy. All living entities, entities do this through their subconscious and or instinctual minds. Through virology, we can learn to harness these currents through the use of our conscious mind to ensure good health, long life, and also transform ourselves and the world around us, filling our future with all the things we need for a happy and successful life. I'm going to count backwards from 20 to 1. And as we count backwards, we'll go into a deeper and deeper state of relaxation. 20. And begin to chant. Faith. Yeah. Hey.